So we've already talked about what economic growth means and why it's so important. But how do we achieve economic growth? Well, remember the three tiers of the Cayman Islands economy? In a way, each tier is like a separate economy in its own right. They each have different growth drivers and different obstacles to growth. So let's look at each tier and see how we can help them grow. Let's start with tier three. Remember, tier three is made up of all the companies that sell products and services to the residents of the Cayman Islands, like Foster's, Kirk's, Hurley's, Scott's Marine, Ale Thompson's, Cox Lumber, Champion House, Ala Kebab, and so on. So how can we help these companies grow? Let's look at a great example of a tier three company, a hairdressing salon. To increase revenue, the hair salon could spend more money on marketing and win customers that way. More customers means more revenue, right? Right. However, that's not economic growth. Because although more customers would mean more revenue, that's only because another salon's revenue went down. If you could look at the hairdressing sector as a whole, the overall revenue or demand stayed exactly the same. Even if an entrepreneur came along and opened a new salon, that wouldn't be economic growth either. Because again, demand for hairdressing hasn't changed. That doesn't mean having more salons is a bad thing, but it's not economic growth. So the question is really, what would have to happen to increase demand for hairdressing? Well, two things. First, disposable incomes could go up. Disposable income is what people have left over after they've paid for important things like housing and food. When disposable income goes up, people have more money to spend on things like hairdressing. When disposable income goes down, like during a recession, people look for ways to cut back on spending. So they visit hair salons less often. And what could cause disposable income to increase? You guessed it, economic growth. The second way to increase demand would be to increase the population. More people means more customers buying more products and services from tier three businesses like hairdressers. So in that way, population growth actually helps our tier three businesses. Now, not everyone agrees that population growth is a good thing. And that's fine, but because population growth is both a cause and result of economic growth, trying to grow the economy without growing the population is like standing in a bucket and trying to lift yourself up by the handle. It's not gonna get you anywhere. In the next video, we'll look at how tier two companies fit into the economy and how to help them grow. For now, thanks for watching. And remember to share this video with your family and friends so they can learn more about our economic prosperity engine.